The history of Jews in America is a rich, colorful, and dimensional story. They came from every corner of the globe and from every station in life. Tailors and peddlers, scholars and dreamers, they came to fulfill America's promise, investing in their hopes and dreams, their energy and ingenuity. Their story needed to be housed in a museum, a spectacular state-of-the-art museum where others could go to learn and experience for themselves the story of Jews in America. But where would such a museum go? A museum dedicated to American Jewish history could not possibly find a more appropriate location, more powerful symbolically, uh, more attractive physically. The National Museum of American Jewish History would find its home right in the heart of American liberty, Philadelphia. Now it was our job to tell everyone, to build the buzz around the grand opening of the only museum in the country dedicated to telling the story of Jews in America from the time they first arrived in 1654 to the present day. Easier said than done. Fortunately, we had Synegration on our side. That's our exclusive method for taking integration to a higher level to create brands that resonate with consumers, break through competitive clutter, and provide maximum return on investment. In the spring of 2010, just months before the grand opening, we got busy. Very busy. As basic blocking and tackling, we dispatched a general news release, crafted targeted pitch letters to traditional media, and developed a strategic media list of reporters who could help us spread the word. The media buzz we built surrounding the museum's opening resulted in such top-tier national placements as the Washington Post, Smithsonian Magazine, the Wall Street Journal, and NPR, as well as Amtrak's Arrive magazine and in-flight publications for United, Continental, and AirTran Airlines. In addition, more than 100 stories ran in local, regional, online, and print outlets. And what's a museum without a map and brochure? We created each, then placed them at key points of interest all around the city. But that was just the start. We also took it to the streets in the form of banners. Not just any banners, trivia banners. Each banner asked a different question, and to get the answer and a discount to the museum, people had to send a text message or visit the mobile site, all of which helped the museum capture valuable contact information. We identified and reached out to influential bloggers and online communities. We also knew Facebook would play a vital role in our campaign. Over a period of just four months, we tripled the number of fans on the museum's Facebook page and increased the number of active and engaged fans by over 1,450%. And as for the grand opening and all the buzz we created, how did it all pay off? Over 1,000 people attended the sold-out gala, which featured stars such as Jerry Seinfeld, Bette Midler, and Barbara Streisand. On the opening weekend alone, we helped generate over 46,000 real-time impressions on the museum's Facebook page.